Welcome to Snapcoms, your internal communications solution. In this video, I'll show you the editing tab, where you can review and approve new articles for your SnapMag, organize a new issue, and publish it to your users. To get started, log into the Content Manager and go to your Company folder. In the Content section, choose a project and open the Content folder. Click on your SnapMag to open it, and then click on Editor View at the top. You'll see a brief summary of your articles. How many articles are awaiting your review? How many have been approved and are waiting to be published? How many articles are already published in the current issue? Have any authors asked to have their articles withdrawn? And how many expired or withdrawn articles do you have in your archives? Any items requiring your attention are marked with a green check mark. As we discussed in the SnapMag setup tutorial, you have the option to require an editor's approval before each new article can be published. Click on Articles for Review to see any articles awaiting your approval. You'll see each article's title, its text, and additional information, including its status, in this case, awaiting review, who submitted it, the start date when they'd like it to appear, and the end date when it should expire. You can click on an article to open it. Once you've reviewed it, you can approve it as it is, or click Modify Article and make any changes. Just be sure to save. Or you can reject it. Just enter the reason why you're declining it, or how you'd like the author to fix it, and click Decline Article. The author will receive a private desktop alert explaining why the article was declined. You can also go back to the list, check off several articles, and approve them all at once. Once you've approved an article, or if your magazine doesn't require approval, the article moves on to the Articles to be Published list. These articles have been approved, but they won't reach your users until you publish a new issue. They may also be waiting for their article's start date to arrive. As before, you can click on an article to open it and click Modify to make any changes. If you do, you'll need to approve the article again when you're done. You can also create a copy of the article, for instance, so you can publish the current version while you start working on an update. Or you can withdraw the article to remove it from the next issue. Once you've reviewed and approved any new articles, it's time to manage your layout. Just go to the Article Ordering tab, open the drop-down and choose a section of your magazine, and you'll see a list of all the articles scheduled to appear in that section. This includes new articles you've just approved for publication, which have the status Awaiting Publishing, and articles that are already running in your magazine, which appear as Published. You can use the arrows to change the order in which these articles appear. Then, save your changes and continue with the other sections of your magazine. When you're done, click on the Preview Magazine tab. Choose whether you'd like to see the current published issue or the new issue you're getting ready to publish, and then click Preview. Make sure everything looks right and adjust any settings as needed. As we discussed in our tutorial SnapMag setup, you can go to the Administrator View tab, scroll down, and choose a day of the week, and SnapComs will publish each weekly issue automatically. If you're using that option, you're done. If you'd prefer to publish manually, Go back to the Editor view and just click on the Publish Magazine tab. Choose Normal to scroll an announcement about your new issue across each user's screen. They'll click on the announcement to read your new issue, including your new articles. You can also choose to publish your magazine silently without scrolling anything. This option is particularly useful if you're publishing a minor correction. Users won't even know you've made any changes. But when they open their message history window and click on your magazine, they'll find the new corrected version. Once your new issue is published, manually or automatically, any newly published articles will move from the Articles to be Published section to the Articles Published section. These are the articles that appear in your current issue, the ones your users can read right now. Again, you can review your list and open an article. If you withdraw an article at this point, 
It will remain in the current issue, but will be automatically removed the next time you publish your magazine. Articles will also be removed automatically once they reach their end date. The next section is Articles for Withdrawal. Once an article is published in your magazine, the author can no longer delete it directly. Instead, they can ask you to withdraw it for them. Their request appears on this list. You can check off the article and withdraw it as requested. It will remain in the current issue, but be removed from the next issue when it's published. Of course, you can also publish a new issue immediately if the article must be removed at once. Or you can choose not to withdraw the article, and it will continue to appear in your magazine until its scheduled end date. When an article reaches its end date or is withdrawn, it moves to the last category, archived articles. These are all the articles that have been published in your magazine in the past, but no longer appear in your current issue. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please visit our knowledge base at support.snapcoms.com or just visit www.snapcoms.com.